Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber 5010-406-652 wide throw, full mortise, standard weight, plain bearing, steel, base, satin chrome hinge. So the, the bomber 5010 is representative of the fact that this is a wide throw hinge, meaning that the hinge is wider than it is tall. The, four, the 406 specifically means that this hinge is 4 inches tall by 6 inches wide. The 652 means that it's in the satin chrome finish. This hinge that I'm showing you in the video is the NRP version, the non-removable pin version. Okay, And what happens when Bomber takes a standard hinge and converts it into non-removable pin is that they drill and tap the barrel of the hinge for this set screw. Then the pin has a groove cut in it that when the set screw is tightened, the set screw goes into that groove. And once it's tightened, you can't drive that pin out. It's, it's practically impossible to do so by sticking an instrument in the bottom of that and trying to drive the pin out uh, with a hammer. So wide throw hinges are very commonly used when you have a situation where the uh, door is set in deeper into the frame than standard. Uh, or if you have thicker than standard casing uh, that you need to have the door swing out and get around. Uh, that would be a very common uh, application for this as well. The, N the NRP version would be for an exterior door that swings out. You wouldn't want those pins to be tampered with. That would be an easy way to get the door off the hinges to be able to do that. It's a standard weight hinge, meaning the leaf thickness, okay, for a 4 inch hinge. A normal hinge would be 4 inch by 4 inch. So this hinge, when the hinge is closed, has a 1 inch greater distance from what the standard vertical line of uh, the, the standard axis of pivoting would be, it's an inch further out. When it's open, the hinge is two inches wider than a four inch by four inch hinge. And when it closed, of course, it would be half of that dimension. So this is this would get you one inch further out uh, in terms of where the door axis, the vertical axis uh, pivoting line would be than a standard hinge. Uh, again, 130 thousandths thick, so that's a standard commercial grade thickness. It's a plain bearing hinge, meaning there are no ball bearings at all. That is the 5010. If you need ball bearing, look for a BB5010. It's what they consider template pattern, which is the location of these holes. It does include all wood screws and all metal screws. There's a link below this template to the cut sheet which gives an indication of all of its you know, dimensions, you know, where the holes are located, uh, so on and so forth. And there's a column for the six inch width. Uh, wide throw hinges, as well as all other hinges by Bomber, are available with decorative tips. You can do ball tip, acorn tip, or an urn tip. Uh, they call it a steeple tip. You can also get them with hospital tips, where the hot, where the this edge of the hinge is all ground down and forms a radius. Okay, You can get it with radius corners, quarter inch radius or five eighths inch radius corners along with the square corner as shown. Okay, And other, you know, other options that you can, you know, if you have need for other options beyond those, you already know what you're looking for and feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you might not be able to see that logo it says Bomber, but above it it says Made in USA, and that's a fact that Bomber is quite proud of, as am I, to represent their products. If you have any questions on the Bomber 5010-406-652 wide throw hinge and a satin chrome finish, or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.